The future of supply drops in Call of Duty. Have you signed a petition to help declare supply drops as gambling? Did you know that Activision got an underhanded microtransaction-based matchmaking patent in their back pocket? What's really going on out here? You are now tuned in to the one and only Mr. Merciless Badass. Yeah. Welcome to the murder show. What's the goddamn deal, people? Welcome to the murder show. And I think it's about time that I sit down and talk about this whole supply drop system that's going on out here. In the background, you're about to see me open two 30 dupe protected rare supply drop bundles that they had in Infinite Warfare this weekend. Oh, spoiler alert, I don't get jack shit. But let's talk about this whole supply drop system fiasco. Because it's a whole lot of time fuckery going on out here. And we really don't appreciate it. Now, in case you didn't know, there is a petition out here on these Call of Duty streets. I will link it in the description. If you haven't signed it yet, be sure to sign it. We need 10,000 signatures on this petition to have the ESRB declare supply drops as gambling, which would force companies like Activision and basically every other gaming company out there to give their games an adult rating because gambling is illegal for kids. They like to try to argue the fact that it's not gambling because you're not gambling with real money. You're spending card points for the supply drops. They also like to say that since you do get something out of the deal, you know, whether it be a stupid ass head, a camo or a calling card, that since you're getting something, it's not really gambling. Bullshit. Listen, let's be honest here. What is it that we want out of supply drops? Is it camos? Is it calling cards? And, and if you into these camos that's in the supply drops, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing at all. It's not cool for grown ass men to be enticed by a stupid ass weapon camo. Okay, let's just get that out right now. The reason that the majority of us open these supply drops is to get guns. It's to get guns. We don't care about calling cards, emblems, uh, keychains, and whatever else kind of lame ass shit they put in these supply drops. All this is a bunch of fluff. Like, look on the screen. Look at these whack ass calling cards and emblems that I'm getting. I'm opening 60 duplicate protected supply drops in hopes that I finally get the guns, the few guns that I'm still missing in the game. I'm missing about two epic weapons. I'm missing the epic katana melee weapon. They got a few uh, hero gear outfits that I want. You know what I'm saying? I'm a black man. So, of course, I want the Omar character for Warfighter. That's my favorite rig. So, that's what I'm out here trying to get. They gave us a deal this weekend in Infinite Warfare. 30 do protected drops for 450 keys. But they only gave us three days to get it. You know how hard it is to stack up and grind for 450 keys? I was playing pretty much all weekend, and I was only able to get 450. But that's what they want. They don't really want you to buy this with crypto keys. They're not making any money like that. Supply drops and basically loot boxes in general, because this applies to every game. This petition... It's not just for Call of Duty. It's for loot boxes in general. Because every game has it. Every game has it. They got some type of in-game currency that you can earn to open up these drops to get new weapons or, or new basketball characters or whatever it is that will entice you. And there's a separate type of currency that you can buy with real money to take a chance. And, it, and look at the system. Look at this every time I open a drop. What does this remind you of? One. Two, three. You see the colors flashing? What does it look like? A slot machine, exactly. This shit is based on slot machine type of shit. Pull the slot. They give you three things. You hoping to get lucky and get something that you want. But nine times out of ten, you're going to leave with nothing but disappointment and a big fat 
dick in your ass. Pause. Am I lying? I didn't get jack shit out of these supply drops. Now you say I just got an EMC. I got a few weapons. But news flash. I already have these weapons. <laughs> but I thought it was dupe protected, Merciless. It is. But these son of a bitch is so conniving. They so slick, underhanded, and wicked. That they put two versions of each gun in the game. The regular version and the MK2 version. So any weapons that you see me get. Whether it's the regular or the MK2, just know that I already have the opposite. Just got the MK2 UDM Mod 3, I already got the regular version. This is a waste of time, effort, money, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? My asshole is sore right now because I took a big hard dicking just trying to get the epic katana. And I still don't have it. So please, click on that link in the description. Sign the, sign the petition to have supply drops declared as gambling so that'll force games to have to put an adult rating on their game which they don't want because if it has an adult rating nine times out of ten a lot of parents won't want to buy that game for their children if it's rated for adults right and these gaming companies don't want that Activision don't want an A rating on their game trust me if you get an A rating on your game you won't be able to advertise it in a lot of places you know what I'm saying? It won't make nearly as much money as it normally does. Or the best case scenario, what they can do if they don't want the A rating, is just take this crooked ass supply drop system bullshit out of the game. Which is what we want, right? We want guns, right? Put the gun in the game and put a price tag on it. Remember in Black Ops 2, I think that was the first card when we got... DLC weapons. The Peacekeeper, I believe, was the first DLC gun. And if my memory serves me correctly, I paid two or three dollars for that gun. At the most, it was five dollars. Which I think is cool. If the whole game costs sixty dollars and it come with about twenty something guns, if you're gonna add just one gun to the game, I think that's worth five dollars. Hell, you, you, I, it might even be worth ten. That one's a favorite of mine. It would be a robbery. But I would even pay $20 for a new gun. That's one-third of the cost of the whole game. But I would pay $20 for the gun. But these greedy son of a bitch is not even happy with that. They want to sell you a chance on getting the gun. They want you to spend hundreds of dollars trying to get a gun that they used to sell you for $5. This is the crookedest shit that I have ever heard of. This is why they have made three point something billion dollars. Off supply drops. Look at that. Just got that. Got the Type 2 Butcher Epic. I don't give a damn no. I, I, I been having the MK2 variant of that. Been having it. Told you I got jack shit out of this. Look at these whack ass camos and emblems. Who uses this shit? Not a goddamn person and they know it. They know it. That's why a lot of these camos look half ass undone. Because they know ain't nobody going to use it anyway. They didn't put it in here for your enjoyment. They put it in here to lower your chances of getting something good, which is the reason why you buy card points to open this shit. It's time for them to take their dick out of our ass, y'all. And the only way we're going to get it done is by signing the petition. And it's a damn shame that we had to go through this type of foolishness because a blind man can see that this shit is gambling. China know it's gambling. They already declared the shit is gambling, and it ain't going down out there. I don't know how it operate out there. If maybe they, they took the game off the shelf if you can't buy it. Or if maybe the games they're going to have to shift to China ain't going to have this type of system. I don't know. Take care of that but if you sign a petition, we need 10,000 signatures. And at this point, we only need about 50 something. But once we get 10,000 signatures, it'll force the ERSB, ESR, whatever the fuck you call this company that rate the games, to take a look at it, declare this gambling. Therefore, giving them an adult rating or forcing them to remove this shit from the game. Look at this. Got the epic nunchucks. It's a damn shame because I already have the epic nunchucks, but I didn't have the MK2 variant. I came here for the samurai sword, the epic katana. Ain't this some bullshit? If this ain't gambling, I don't know what is. And the worst part about it is I ain't trying to be gambling. Some people enjoy gambling, and that's cool. You want to take a chance on winning big or, you know what I'm saying, you want to buy a raffle ticket on chance on winning a car or whatever. That's cool. That's your business. I'm not into that type of shit. I just want the merchandise that they put in the game. That's all. 
Imagine if we had to go through this shit when you go to the grocery store. Imagine if you wanted or needed a loaf of bread, but when you go to the grocery store, you had to put your money in, and, and, and the motherfucking shit would spin, and it would give you three random items. You might get some M&Ms. You might get some biscuits. You might get some motherfucking, uh, I don't know, fucking red pepper. Bitch, I need some bread. How is this shit legal? How is it legal? Ain't nobody asked to gamble. We shouldn't be forced into gambling and we shouldn't have to sign petitions to have people look at this fuck shit and declare this gambling. It's clearly fucking gambling. I, I don't know what else to say, man. But uh, that's the future of supply drops. You know, we on the brink of running this shit out of the game. Like I said, we just got to come together, put our signatures on paper, and, uh, you know, hopefully everything go our way. They've been digging us down for three years straight. Advanced warfare, black ops, infinite warfare. They got this new uh, matchmaking system based on supply drop weapons, patent in their back pocket, getting ready to hit us with that shit in World War II. So if we don't stand up and do something about this shit, then we're going to be getting digged down for the fourth year straight. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I'm, I'm tired of getting dicked. I'm tired of getting dicked and not getting nothing fud. I can see if you give me something fud. <laughs> but fuck. I ain't getting nothing but shit. Look at this. Another weapon I already got. S dangling a, 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 a carrot in front of my face. Huh, do protect the supply drops. Do protect them, huh, motherfucker. Y'all real slick with that bullshit. Giving me the opposite version of what I got. Like it ain't the same thing. Good quality. Minimal wear. I'm mad, man. I'm mad. Y'all see, I spent the uh, 450 keys, and then I dropped the card points. It still ain't got the katana? It's bullshit. But like I say, link in the description, man. Let your voice be heard. They gonna have to hear us. They gonna have to take a sit down. They gonna have to analyze this shit. Like I say, it already been declared gambling in China, so it should be the same thing out here. The future of supply drops, hopefully we looking at the end, y'all. Because if we don't stand up for something, then we'll fall for anything. So let your voice be heard. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to pimp slap the piss out of that like button for your boy. Leave me a comment. And be sure to hit that motherfucker subscribe button and don't miss none of this Call of Duty real shit. It's the murder show. Fuck with me. And use code MURDER SHOW to get 10% off your next control freak or cinch game in person.